Today's video is brought to you by Heinz 360. For, informa for more information on them coming up next, please stay tuned. Thank you. So in this particular section of the video, this is what I consider the main body of work. Right here, this is where you would sit down and this is where you would give your interview style. This is where you would talk your main body, you know, whatever your topic that you, that's going to be the title. When you see the title, this is where you say things like, okay, I'm glad, thank you for tuning in today. As you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about X, X, Y, and Z. You know, then this is where you kind of give a um, reintroduction to your sponsors and everything. And... In this section, you want to roll into who your next sponsors are. You want to kind of incorporate that if you can. This is something you got to pre-record and pre-practice. So, yeah, this is my uh, clip for what to put in this section and roll to the next one. Now, here we are. We are in the sponsor section. So today we're going to give a shout out to Heinz 360. Now, Heinz 360 provided this lovely 360 photo booth for you. See my daughter right there. As you can see, the outer border with the the, the distorted Cosmos podcast and the little thing on the bottom. That's all comes a part of the overlay package. So be on the lookout for Heinz 360. We'll leave their email in the description below. This is how you plug your sponsors. This is how you talk about it. And yeah. So the next thing after a word from your sponsors is you want to kind of have a conclusion or recap of everything you talked about in your main body of work. So if your main body of work talked about, um, let's say, how to place, you know, your uh, podcast in a particular structure, this is the point in time where you will reiterate the point of placing your podcast in the structure. You will reiterate Sorry, I will reiterate the point of putting this podcast in this particular structure. I will reiterate my points that I went over. And um, also, I will get, this is where I would get my call to action, meaning if I have a product or service, of, this is where I sell. If I have a Facebook page, this is where I tell them to go, comment, like, and follow. If I have a uh, anything I want to sell, this is where I want the people to get up and go do it right now. Put it in the descriptions below so you want to pre-write pre out your text. You want to have everything already pre-written so it's just a copy and paste, okay? Everything in the description from the podcast episode, from the next episode, from the previous episode. You need to be able to sure you can link things up here or put things in the description. Be able to be sure that you can pre-record so that you can know, you can say things like, okay, if you look right here, you know, right here is just your head and recording, but as you're editing, you can put like the link right here. So that way it kind of goes into letting people know that you actually pre-planned this. So this is a particular part where, again, you know, you recap, you want to be sure that you have a good call to action. If you have a guest, this is also where they will come in and get after you give your spiel, then you would turn it over to them and then they will come over and they will tell people how to find them, their information, their uh, reviews and response over things. And, you know, you guys will kind of have a last minute dialogue of things. This is that particular section. All right. On to the next one. This last little tip right here is optional. This is where you can put in the last few, you know, last clip or two, last little something to plug in, little B-roll footage. So what I'd probably do is I'd probably take one of the footage of my camera rolls and just toss it over the back of something and probably throw some music on that and probably throw my logo on after that and then probably be the end of the video. So that so this particular structure that you just watched, that's uh, kind of like a rough draft or of how things are going to be. Not in that necessarily necessarily this exact order, but you can see it has a particular flow of processes. Once you get that knocked down, I believe this is the key. This is going to be the key to having future growth, to targeting these exact people. Why? Because they know the exact point of time frame that you can go and look for the information. They know exactly about how far it's going to be and everything. The plug may seem different. It's not always as advertised. And so, yeah. And there's my dog. Hi, doggy. Hi. Hey, you. See, this is the additional footage. The doggy. Hi. Look at him. He's so skinty. He's so skinty. Hey, skinny dog. All right. So, again, we have the small clip. We have the introductory, the greeting, which I think I skipped, actually. We have the sponsored video. Main body of work where you talk about your product, uh, you kind of include the thing you're sponsoring. We have a conclusion and a recap, which also includes a call to action. 
Then this right here is your out outro link. And then maybe another small bit, small video, a clip from early in there. And that's my general kind of structure of things. All right. And before you go, don't forget to hit me up on IG at the Distorted Cosmos. Yeah, yo.